Let's take a new exercise in SolidWorks and here we will learn some sheet metal features like forming tools. We will use forming tools from design library. So this is a simple exercise in SolidWorks. Let's start first. Let's check note. All dimensions are in millimeter K factor 0.5 inside bend, bend radius 2 millimeter unless otherwise specified forming embosses tools from SolidWorks design library. Okay. Now we have here few views like let's say this is front view side view bottom view then there is a one cross section cross section for cut relief then this is flat pattern and we have bending table so let's start with front view we will use front view thickness you will see here 2 millimeter 150 120 230 60 millimeter corner okay this radius we will do it later and uh, you will see there is a simple bend or flange we will use flange tool 40 millimeter then 20 millimeter okay now look this radius 3 millimeter this one 2 millimeter so by default we will keep two and otherwise we will specify it. material alloy steel now right click go to tabs and activate sheet metal feature from here sheet metal tab okay now first we have to select a plane so i am going to select front plane if you select a sketch now let's activate line tool okay let's start from here right click select now let's apply dimensions to this activate the smart dimension now let's this one 120 the bottom one 230 millimeter 60 millimeter and this one 150 millimeter look it seems fully defined sketch simply go to sheet metal and activate base flange tab now just zoom see material move other side so I am going to choose reverse direction k factor 0.5 now this rectangle this radi uh, auto relief we will define in some other step okay use material no we don't we are not going to apply anything now let's keep this one same okay now let's apply age flange now I'm going to select this edge and move cursor where you want to extend. So I'm going to extend here. Now I am not going to edit here default radius inside two millimeters. See the radius going to change angle 90 degree and this length is 40 millimeter according to drawing and length going to start see here you have to select this outer virtual sharp means this sharp point dimension going to start from this sharp point to this end point the material keep inside let's check if i'm going to keep outside see material flowing outside bend outside see bending going to start from the outer face but material going to keep inside we don't need cut relief or anything here okay Again, I am going to apply a flange. Now, this time I am going to select this inside band and see if I move inside. Similar 90 degree. Okay, this time I am going to make this bend radius, inside bend radius 3 millimeter according to our drawing. Just check with top view. See, these radius are bigger than those. Now. 20 millimeter is the width so keep end condition blind now here also material keep inside dimension from this outer edge now we don't need to define custom relief okay now let's check one more bend here 30 millimeter long you will see here this kind of bend okay you will see here 50 millimeter material inside distance from outside to outside 50 millimeter okay 
2 mm thick same radius also going to be same now here section a this is cut relief section a this is cut relief 2 by 2 see and uh, this outer r15 then there is a hole this hole located at center of this 12 diameter so let's do this now i am going to select edge flange now select this this one and move outside let me select top view okay it seems perfect isometric view now here okay radius 2 edge edit edge flange now just move this one here smart dimension now distance from here to including thickness 50 see and uh, let's say this 15 into 15 diameter should be 30 okay here select back now in this condition angle is 90 degree now material is already inside we selected you will see the preview already now come here custom relief type rectangle type now here uncheck relief ratio and here let's apply dimensions let's zoom in so that uh, things will clear okay now 1 mm let's say 2 mm click somewhere see this is going to bigger 2 mm click somewhere and see okay and look if i am going to select this edge you will see at bottom 2 mm and select this edge 2 mm fine corner fillet break corner trim corner now here i am going to keep uh, fillet 15 mm simply choose this one this face and it will detect both corner and apply see here again i am going to apply break corner trim this time 10 mm but this time maybe 2 mm let me select this even one by one you can select say okay see now you will see 10 mm and here also the same is not mentioned now it's time to add these holes there are seven number of holes these holes location let's see flatten view see 30 r radius r4 38 mm 15 mm there are seven number of holes so how to do this now activate unfold and i want to unfold these two bends first we have to choose fix place so this is not going to bend whatever bending happen according to happen with this face now let me select bend these two bends even you can select collect all bends and it will open all but i don't want to open this look select this face is sketch now activate here straight slot right click select smart dimension 30 r4 then distance from here to here 35 15 see r4 30 38 not fair that's fine go to sheet metal and activate extruded cut now here just click link to thickness so that you don't need to define anything normal cut or anything you don't need say okay activate linear pattern now we have to choose direction for this pattern so i am going to select this vertical line any vertical line now distance between all is uh, 
Oh, I think this is not going to mention in drawing, but okay. Seven. We don't need second one. See. Now go to fold. Fix face already selected. Bend. Let me choose this bend. One, two, or clear. Collect all bend. See the both bend selected. Look, this is bend. Edit material. Alloy steel. Apply close. Now here also we need to apply a hole. So select simple hole. Select this face. Now make diameter twelve. Now just se select the center point. Keep cursor over here, and you will find the center point. Just see this is fixed. You can move by cursor to this, and here the hole is created. Now let's apply this emboss hole. Let's say I am going to apply first this one uh, counter sink emboss. Now look fifteen. And twenty, this distance. Then twenty-five and thirty, the center distance. And this is simple counter bore sink hole. Then at center there is a one circular emboss. Uh, location seventy sixty. See here. You will see here in uh, isometric view. Now just I am going to select design library. Then here you have option forming tools, emboss. Now first I'm going to choose counter sink emboss, and I'm going to apply from back side because this side I'm going to just drag and drop here. See the red area going to open. Position, smart dimension. Fifteen, twenty. Now it's done. Okay, it seems fully de un not defined. So select this point and this point coincide. Look, it seems fully defined. Say okay, okay, and see here, the emboss tool is created. Now let's activate circular pattern. Now first direction. Let's say bottom thirty and two number of units. Okay. Now here select feature. So I am directly I am going to select this one. You will see two number of patterns. Direction two. This time I am going to define any something like uh, this direction. Direction two. Twenty-five distance, three number of patterns. The gap between these two is twenty-five. Say okay, and look. This is created. Similarly, I am going to select the reverse. Here, circular emboss. Just drag. Position. Dimension. Distance from this side seventy. and distance from upper edge is 60 okay now still not defined so let's select the center of this body and coincide and you will see okay look then there is a one more emboss hole emboss 2 85 35 20 20 okay so back again select this counter sink emboss in this there is no hole so just drag here position now you can activate with this point click one here one here one here 
right click choose select and exit now let's make some constraint important constraint now select these two horizontal bottom one horizontal the upper one vertical similarly i am going to select okay select first these two points select this point and this point okay A smart dimension thirty five eighty five make this one thirty twenty similarly make twenty look it seems fully defined let me cross check no here shows 35 from this end if you are going to count this from this end it's going to be 30 it's a uh, 120 30 this side from 20 let's check from which side we counted okay we counted from this side so by default from this side should be 35 that's fine okay yes and see that's it forming tool we will give the name i think we we did we covered all the things that's it even let's say flatten see exit right click and here select export to dxf this is important okay give the name some something file dxf save now here choose sheet metal now what feature you want to hidden edges bend line sketch forming tool okay even if we can define origin but let's say yes look all the marking are available S simply say yes don't forget to share like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching